If you are looking for a job in automotive industry or you like to have basic knowledge on how automotive industry works or even as a fresher you shouldn't be saying in the interview that you have never heard this term APQP advanced product quality planning originally designed for automotive industry but looking at the amount of results it could make the other industries like aerospace defense even the medical equipments they have incorporated this process into their manufacturing the development of each and every part which is going inside the final product is going through a certain phases of life phase 1 planning and program definition all starts with the customer requirement what kind of features he needs in the product what are the expectations laid by the customer we start the planning activities once we have the complete understanding of customer needs and expectations and we need to define what kind of characteristics need to be incorporated in the part to attain to this feature with design reliability and quality goals phase 2 product design and development completing the product design is the focus of this phase a complete failure mode effect analysis i have done videos on failure mode effect analysis i have given in the description box and there should be a control plan for prototype creation so we have done the planning in the first phase we have done the design and review in the second phase and now it's all about designing a process for the product created or the process product designed so the phase 3 is design and development of the process the process design the process engineer or the process engineering team will create the process without affecting the specifications of the product a complete process flow diagram is created the complete failure mode effect analysis that is process failure mode effect analysis called as pfma is performed product finishing and packaging requirement is defined phase 4 validating the process and product before the manufacturing starts this is basically a test phase there is something called acceptance criteria certain customer requirement comes and up to what up to which level this is considered as accepted so this acceptance criteria will define whether the product after manufacturing is accepted or rejected also all the testing requirement for the product and process is defined in this phase phase 5 launch assessment and continual improvements i give a task to you please find the differences between continual improvement and continuous improvement and please comment your answers below the full scale production launch occurs in this phase this phase also includes understanding the issues in the production and take corrective actions assess the customer feedback on the product also validating the process efficiency and quality planning effectiveness the outcome of this phase will be an improved manufacturing process an improved product and improved customer satisfaction so this video was just to let you know that there is something called apqp even a week will not be enough to cover the entire apqp process thank you